This sci-fi reboot is trending on Twitter at the cusp of cancellation. Will fans get their way? Or is this revival over before it's even started? Reboots are the name of the game these days, but one of the more unexpected ones was a Babylon 5 reboot, set to air on The CW. Produced by Warner Brothers Television and helmed by original series creator J. Michael Straczynski. There's only one way in or out of Babylon 5, back the way you came. Babylon 5 is a space station where the intergalactic powers of the 22nd century can conduct diplomatic business on neutral ground. The protagonist is the station's commander, John Sheridan, but the series is an ensemble, following characters from all over the galaxy, each with depth and history. Over the course of the series, Babylon 5 becomes the centerpiece of a conflict millennia in the making. Per the initial announcement, the ground-up reboot will retell the story of Sheridan and Babylon 5 for a new audience, assuming it sees the light of day. Warner Brothers' business strategy lately has been, no one is safe. Plus, the CW is now under the new majority ownership of the Next Star Media Group, who've indicated a shift is coming. They said, As many of you are aware, the CW is currently the lowest-rated broadcast network, which we believe largely reflects the fact that its programming is targeted for an 18-34 audience demographic, while the average age of the CW broadcast viewer is 58 years. Over time, we'll be taking a different approach to our CW programming strategy. It seems that Nexstar is unsure if Babylon 5 has a place in their new programming strategy. On September 19, 2022, Straczynski tweeted that the series' fate could be decided by the end of that month, imploring fans to raise their voices to Nexstar and Warner Brothers Television. All right, patch me through. After a pilot movie in 1993, the original Babylon 5 ran for five seasons between 1994 to 1998. It was initially broadcast on PTEN, but after that network folded, it switched to TNT for its final season. Straczynski approached the series as a novel for television and started production with a five-year plan, albeit one that was changed several times due to actor availability. Anna narrowly avoided cancellation before season five. This tightly serialized, planned-out approach was ahead of its time, and a reboot which used similar storytelling would fit right into the modern era of television. However, Babylon 5 never had much luck at starting a wider media franchise. Four TV movies were produced from 1998 to 1999. In the beginning was a prequel. Third Space and River of Souls were standalone side stories, and A Call to Arms was a backdoor pilot for the spin-off Crusade. That spin-off lasted only a single 13-episode season. Other spin-offs, Legend of the Rangers and The Lost Tales, never went to series. Attempts at a Babylon 5 movie have been made, from a continuation titled The Memory of Shadows to a silver screen reboot, but none have gotten off the ground. Further complicating things, a surprising amount of the original cast members have passed away since the show went off air. The 2021 announcement of the CW reboot ended a long dormancy for Babylon 5. The first sign and portent of things going wrong was when the pilot script was not picked up for the fall 2022 season. The CW didn't pass on the script, though, but simply postponed the series until 2023. Straczynski reassured fans that CW president Mark Pedowitz was simply waiting as the dust settles on the sale of the CW. It took only months for the writer to change his tune. In his tweet sounding the alarm, Straczynski used the hashtag B5 on CW in 23. Fans have been echoing his words to broadcast their support, to the point that it shortly thereafter became Twitter's number one trending topic. However, it's unclear what impact this will have or if it will be enough to save the series. The shift at the CW is already underway. For one, the Arrowverse, the DC Comics shared TV universe which has run on the CW for over a decade, will be ending after The Flash concludes its ninth season. Deadline reports that part of Next Star's new CW strategy includes broadening the network's programming slate to include police procedurals and half-hour sitcoms. A lessened reliance on genre shows could bode poorly for Babylon 5. I won't live to see what follows. Why? What is going to follow? The signs aren't all bad, though. Straczynski said on his Patreon, Mark Pedowitz is a longtime fan of B5. He worked for Warners when the show was first airing, and always made sure we got him copies of the episodes before they aired, because he didn't want to wait to see what happened next. Straczynski added that Pedowitz said the pilot is a damn fine script. 
If Babylon 5 has someone so important to the CW in its corner, that will help a lot. But the biggest help may end up being pressure from the fans.